Hi Scorpio, welcome or welcome back. My name is Lightworker Wit and I'm so excited to get into your mid-month check-in for May 2024. Okay, so what we're gonna look into is how things are going, what's going well, what's not going well, <clears throat> where to focus your energy, where to stop focusing your energy, and then additional messages from spirit. Before we get into that, we need to pick your jumper for the full moon in Sagittarius that we have on May 23rd. I like to pull oracle cards in advance because I like to give you something to look forward to. And also, it really rounds out your reading. That wisdom card is always trying to pop out, Lord. Always trying to pop out for everybody. Yes, we understand we need wisdom, Lord, Scorpio. Okay, beautiful. So I will read that at the end of your reading, so stay tuned for that. I'll be reading it from the guidebook. Okay. Now, please remember that this is a collective reading. Receive what resonates, release what doesn't, okay? And if you would like a personal reading on your specific situation, all of my links are below for you to schedule at any time, okay? All right, let's get into it. Scorpio, literally the song in my head, I'm sprung, how she got me, got me doing things I never do, if you ain't been, I'm telling you, I have not heard that song, I have not been listening to that song, literally I'm sprung just pops into my head, got me doing the dishes, anything she want but some kisses, <laughs> Man, I can't. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, loving the first three cards. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, let me pull up my. Also, I need to go my timer because I'm trying to stay on track. Because y'all know I can blab. All right. Now, where you are, or how things are going what's going well okay all right so scorpio your challenge for the next two weeks is just to go with the flow how things are going we have three of pentacles okay you're you're I feel like, let me just, before I get into this, let me go back to your monthly reading. I said for you, Scorpio, I said, this is going to be a tough month. Feels like you're waiting on a situation to end, but it's not the right time and you're being called to take more responsibility that you don't want. Also, this month is razor thin. I have no idea what I meant by that. So it's stressful all around. I think I meant your patience is razor thin. Love life feels like there's a relationship that's ending, but will quickly gain interest in someone else. Okay. Oh, you know what? The wisdom card. Remember I said the wisdom card always wants to go. That's the card that you had for the this month. So if you wanted to know what the oracle message for wisdom is, go back to your May reading that I posted two weeks ago. Or at the beginning of May, whenever you're watching this. Um, but I feel like in that set in that May forecast, I had talked about how you need to embrace working with other people so that you don't have so much pressure on yourself. So I think you really did take my advice and you are really collaborating and working with other people okay so you have the support and the help that you need from other people i feel what's going well queen of cups you're in your element you are really in your compassion era you're really trying to be emotionally supportive to other people in your life you're really just trying to be here and be available and just kind of like in this like calm energy right now maybe the first two weeks were really crazy but it feels like now you're starting to kind of lighten up a bit what's not going well is work nine of pentacles it is upright but you're probably working really hard let's see if we can pull a clarification on that because i would typically expect the nine of wands to be excuse me nine of pentacles to be really positive chariot is coming out so you're again i really still feel like you guys are trying to move on from a situation Magician is popping out, but let's see if um, we can get another card. Can you clarify the Nine of Pentacles, please? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Please clarify that for Scorpio. All right, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, just trying to balance everything. 
trying to have a good work-life balance that's what's really hard right now i also want to get a clarification on that queen of cups that was too many y'all i really have tea pain stuck man <laughs> Okay, I keep, I keep wanting to put out a lot of different cards. Okay, can you just please one card for me for the Queen of Cups? Just one, okay. Ace of Cups. You know, new love, new feelings. I'm telling you that I'm sprung, there, I'm, I just feel like there's a new, it's a new romantic situation that's kind of got you feeling good, good. All right, where to focus your energy? Hangman, just go with the flow, Scorpio. You need to, the honks. You need to just go with the flow with something right now. You're Don't try to force it. Just try to release and stop. Don't try to control the situation. Let it be what it's going to be. Be aware and attentive to what's happening. But there's not really, also don't bend over backwards to make something happen. Because where to stop focusing your energy is six of swords. Like this is usually about transition and moving on there's you're being called to not move on from something or alternatively this could be where to stop focusing your energy this could be delaying stop delaying the transition that you know needs to happen so let's confirm that please clarify the six of swords dog wants to go out for a walk i don't even know that i can walk her because i think it's still raining the moon okay this could be a pisces um but also it's oh look back of the deck energy is the hangman it's also about trusting your intuition i'm hearing stop turning a blind eye Two of Wands coming out and also the Strength card. Yeah, you got to be strong enough to see what else is out there. Okay? Stop delaying the transition. You have to just put on your big girl panties and get the fuck on. Uh, what you need to know from Spirit, you need to nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Queen of Pentacles here. All right? When it is reversed... A lot of times when Queen of Pentacles reverse, she's become bitter because she's taking every care of everyone else except herself. So you need to take care of yourself. While I do still feel like you are in a softer era, I do feel like there is still a need to take care of yourself simply because you're on the brink, if you're not already there, of burnout, okay? So I feel like there's a romantic situation that's exciting, but yeah. Take care of yourself. Don't you're you're at the brink of, of overworking. Okay, where am I on time? Wow, I have so much time. Okay, what else do I need to give you for a mid month check? And that was fast, Scorpio. Um, before I get into your new moon reading, or just not, excuse me, your full moon reading, let's see what comes out of you. Out of let's see what comes out of you. Let's see what comes out of here for the energy healing deck, baby. It's raining. It's raining outside. Scorpio. I'm talking to my dog, guys. Okay, here we go. We have walk, bitch, walking away. Okay? Look. Listen. When I be telling y'all spirit be knowing, spirit be knowing. 27. Here we go. Y'all saw, y'all saw it flip out. All right. It came up reverse. Uh, reverse. This card reverse signals that you may be feeling very stuck in some present situation or location. There may be a job or a relationship that no longer resonates with you. Yet out of habit or perhaps fear, you allow yourself to stay when it might be healthier to consider walking away. Habit and familiarity are compelling forces, often causing people to ignore their intuition and even dishonor their genuine feelings. This is a time of honest investigation. Consider all of the factors in this present situation. Perhaps the timing isn't quite right, like I've been saying. And there may be some purpose in staying a little while longer. Don't deceive yourself about your motivations, however. Fear-based decisions don't often work out in your highest interest. 
You also may be stuck in a long-term personal habit or unhealthy pattern. Be aware that you always have the option and the responsibility to let go of any thought or behavior that no longer honors you. Whenever you walk away from negativity, you always move toward greater happiness. That's a, that's a word. Whenever you walk away from negativity, you always move toward greater happiness. That's a vibe. Affirmation is, it is safe and comfortable for me to move on. I consider all my options and then take actions on beyond. It is safe and comfortable for me to move on. Say that to yourself. It is safe and comfortable for me to move on. I consider all my options and then take action on my own behalf. Again, I consider all my options and then take action on my own behalf. Child, child, because 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 when spirit knows, they know. You're delaying it. You're delaying it. You gotta see what else is out there. What's on the other side of that gate? Okay. All right. Let's read your let's read your uh, message for the full moon. So full moon is in Sagittarius this month. Things are coming to completion. Things are coming full circle. Okay. Emotions will be high. We have will. We have a will for you. Number 13, that's the vibration of four, balance and harmony. I never, I don't usually go over numerology with people, but. Okay. Decisions require action. You are in control of your own decisions in life. No one else's. Passion and will determine a great portion of your success. You will persist. You possess free will, which means you should focus on yourself first and avoid placing your will over another's. Affirmation here is, I have the will to make the changes I need. You see the message, Scorpio. Will feels like a very old-fashioned concept. In a modern world where it seems like everything is geared up to be easy as possible or there's always someone else to blame, the idea of placing our personal will persistently into something... Per, uh, the idea of placing our personal will persistently into something seems quaint. When we decide we are going to change something in our lives, let's say a particularly negative pattern or bad habit, breaking the old way we do things can be difficult. The change requires a concentration of our will. We may want the change, but it is our will that insists we stay on the path to that change. To be willful means we have the power of control over our own actions, and that will fires up the persistence we need to get what we want. Contrary to popular belief, in witchcraft traditions, practitioners do not interfere with another's free will. This author leans towards witchcraft. This means we do not cast spells upon people to influence their behavior. How do we get what we want instead? We cast on ourselves in line with our will, focusing carefully on what we would like in our lives instead. For example, instead of casting a spell to get your ex-boyfriend, who doesn't want us by influencing his will to love us again, we more ethically cast upon ourselves for our ideal partner. This way, we don't interfere with his free will, and if our ex is our ideal partner, he will return to us freely. If not, we have attracted someone new and better off for us. Either way, we win. Sorry, I just like, I felt like that part, I've read that part so many times, I'm like, okay, I don't know who out there is trying to cast a love spell. <laughs> to use our will productively, we should assess what we really want and make sure this is what we want to reach for. The companion stone is hematite, which I think I have. Um, I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. It might be on my altar, which desperately needs a cleanup. I hope you get the message from this, Scorpio. I'm going to stop the timer. I don't feel like I need to waste your precious minutes to consider how you're going to leave your situation okay the message is clear the message is clear trust yourself trust yourself clearly spirit is trying to get you to get up out of something out of some relationship whether professional romantic a friendship a, a negative relationship with a family member a living situation spirit is trying to get you out of there okay figure it out if you're not following me on Instagram and TikTok, why aren't you? Please do. I post content on both platforms and some content is different. It's not the same content across all platforms. Some stuff I only post on my Instagram stories. Some stuff I only post on TikTok. So it's 
fun. I try to try to mix it up for all the platforms. But either way, I appreciate you being here. Please subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. And I just hope you have a great rest of your May, Scorpio. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye.